going on everybody it's dj welcome to your daily dose of mods and news for farming simulator today we've got plenty to talk about including explaining the testing list the houston rodeo was that blurry and even a dirt bike coming to all platforms it's wild so Let's check it out. Starting off today with the testing list, which was released as I was editing this video. I had to go back and re-record the first 60 seconds. Thanks, Chucky. <laughs> anyway, we got 98 mods on the testing list today. Looks like we've got a couple Pumas in testing, one of which I think is Steve's version. We'll talk about that one later in this video. We've also got a new cow barn, something to do with horses, equestrian center, the Fent 900 S4, and of course, the TLX Phoenix series is still in testing. I also see the Hills of Slovenia in here as well. We should have a video on that in the next few days. Thank you to White Bulmani for sending that over for an early look. Remember, PC testing is only stage one. Everything has to pass PC testing before moving on to console testing. On average, 70 to 80% of all mods will be for all platforms. Speaking of all platforms, let's make our way down into the second stage of testing where we get to see the case Magnum has moved on and the CP770 Cotton Harvester still in testing. Pair those with the Massey 5600 and some parking spaces, and we've got a full testing list with a little bit of something for everyone. In addition to all the mods and testing, we still have 874 sitting waiting, and the current average waiting time new, newly, newly submitted mods is 16 work days. If you're in the Houston area, here in the United States, make sure you drop by the Houston Livestock Show and head to Hall B of the NRG Center, where Giant Software have set up an exhibit where you can check out the latest farm sim game and even try your hand at the Bell Stacking Challenge. Are you up to it? Oh man. Oh yeah, and uh, Kermit's there too, so you should totally go bother him for me because I can't be there to do it myself. This Saturday, March 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm gonna be going live to celebrate four years making videos here on YouTube. The actual date of the anniversary is not until next Wednesday on March 9th, but Saturdays are much better for live streams and you can have a whole lot more fun with it. I'm gonna be going back and roasting some of my old videos as well as sharing a look back at what brought the GoHam fam to where we are today. And of course, wouldn't be a GoHam fam stream without giveaways. And we've got something really cool, a Farming Simulator 22 Collector's Edition to give away courtesy of the FS crew. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Country Bumpkin for that donation. You guys are awesome. The stream itself is not going to be very long, maybe two or three hours at the most, but I want to spend some time with you all and just have fun. Part of the stream is going to be a Q&A session too, so check out the community tab on my channel, look for the most recent announcement for the stream, and post your questions in the comment section of that post, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even on Discord, and I'll be answering all of those questions live on stream. The past four years have been so much fun, and I can't wait to see what the next four or more bring us. This is only the beginning. All right, finally. Let's jump into today's top stories. If you've been wanting to drive around a dirt bike on farm sim, on console, or even on PC, the waiting time might be less than you think it is because Slusha's Modding have submitted this bike for all platforms. Obviously, with such a long waiting time on the mod testing list right now, with it being like March 22nd or 23rd before we see this in testing, uh, it's going to be a little while, but seeing something like this as a possibility is going to make a ton of players happy. Hey, even I'll get one and drive it around. Did someone say Titan Eyes? I think so. Speaking of Titan Eyes, here's the guy himself, 82 Studio. He's been working on a big update to the TLX 2020, yes, even before version 1 was released. This update's going to feature some quality of life improvements, as well as the addition of the enclosed palette auto load what i'm calling the bucket he's also doing the ab tanker a snow plow oh yeah and some big heavy duty wheels other things have been fixed as well such as the water tanker not working at unloading points david has put together a great video showing off every bit of the update leave a link to that down below for you guys to check out ey modding's got an update for us today on his international 88 2 plus 2 series aka the ant eater which he says is almost finished just doing some final optimizations and in-game testing, then it'll be submitted for testing for mod up for all platforms. The tractor is going to feature different wheels and tires, as well as a few different designs with multiple interiors to make the series numbers match as well. He's also released a video of the 7488 version. If you want to check that out, link below. It's always tell him DJ sent you. That's not the only tractor that we've got to look forward to, because Servertex is bringing back their Valtra T-Series CVT for Farming Simulator 19. They say that the mod is already in-game and ready to go. It's going to come with several improvements and new additions as well, although they failed to say how ready the mod is or what these several improvements and new additions will be. Either way, fans of this tractor are going to be happy to hear that it is coming back for all platforms. 
This is a Brazilian style tractor as well. So if you love those, this is going to be a great addition to your farm. That's not all though, because Steve's Mods brings us an update on his Case Puma, which I will still argue is one of the best Puma mods in farm sim history. Regardless of my opinions on the mod, it did fail testing the last time around, but he's working on the fixes right now. The mod was going to be adding openable doors, windows, and even a working sunroof. It's also going to have the CVX gearbox. That's right. You're going to be able to use the CVT with a variable transmission, or you can use the CVX and use normal gears. That's pretty cool. It's also going to be different colors, so you can customize the tractor to your personal taste. As far as maps go, he's nearly completed two of his maps from FS19. You got Somerset Farms, which is my favorite one that he did, and Grasslands. Graysbrook is coming back as well. It's his favorite one. He's redoing the entire map so he can make it as good as it possibly can be. Custom modding have been making their John Deere 1870 drill and C850 air card as good as they can be as well. Seen here heading to the next field in style or maybe back to the farm. I don't know. Uh, here's the tough part about the picture. There's no information. I hate sharing things with you guys with no information because there's nothing to share other than look at the pretty picture. But I had to throw this one out there for you guys. I do love this combo and it shows that they're working on bringing it back and we might be closer than we think. We already knew we'd be seeing it. We just hadn't seen it yet, if that makes any sense. Well, here you go. Ta-da! For those of you that have been looking forward to the map Greenlands by Peter716, he says that the map is still with Giants pending testing. In the meantime, he's taking a break for a few weeks from modding because he's got some family commitments to take care of. He says that everything's good and it's great news and he can't wait to see us very soon. In the meantime, I will keep you guys updated on any information that becomes available on the Greenlands map, so stay tuned. And lastly today, we hear from Bullet Bill on some progress that he has made for his first map for Farming Simulator 22. We might not have heard anything from him in the past few weeks, but that doesn't mean that he hasn't been working in the background. He's been mainly doing some modeling for new stuff on the map, including the houses that you guys see here. These have been built to have the exact same features as the houses on Giants maps. He's also managed to sort out an outdated feature of every UK map that was previously released, which should make for a revolutionary change on how well UK maps function with all playing styles. What is it though? He doesn't say, only that he says he will showcase it on a later date. But don't worry, I'm not going to wait until a later date to tell you about today's video sponsor. Wait, or was that? I won't wait until a later date to tell you about today's segue to the outro. I think that's it, because there's definitely not a sponsor for this video. You should check out some merch anyway though, it's mega comfy. Just like these segues to the outro, boom, gotcha! Just like every episode of Farms and News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, it just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new and important going on in Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's news video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed to the channel if you do. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you You probably noticed we didn't do Farm Some News yesterday. Farm Some News is now only Monday, Wednesday, Friday until further notice.